these comments I posted, these jokes were all generated by a Twitter bot. This is how I built it. Let's get started. So taking a look at some of the impressions, this tweet had 25 impressions. This one had 10, this one had 13. And with a Twitter bot, you're constantly writing tweets throughout all hours of the day. And these impressions slowly add up. 13 here, here's a seven. Now I don't think this is the sole way to grow on Twitter. I think you're gonna need to do more than just tweeting like tweeting with hashtags and getting impressions, but it's a good basic foundation to get people visiting your profile. So I wrote hundreds of these tweets. They were all generated by AI, specifically GPT-4. Actually, most of these might've been generated by a lesser model. So there is some potential for even better outputs, but I did this with two tools. I used make.com and then the chat GPT API. So let's go build this bot again. So this is make.com. It's like a Zapier. And what it does is it connects multiple apps via their API connections. And it allows you to create workflows that use their different features and products. So instead of manually building these workflows in an app, you can use something like make.com and connect everything within them. I'll explain more about that in a second when we visualize the workflow but this is the pricing page. If you guys wanna try it out completely for free, you get 1,000 operations per month. Our workflow has three operations. So if we do the math here, that's 1,000 divided by three. You'll be able to post 333 tweets per month completely for free. Now that doesn't include your open AI costs, but for just make.com, that's a pretty good start. Their next plan is 10,000 operations per month. I'm gonna click monthly, show it's $10.59 per month. And at 10,000 operations divided by three, you'll get 3,333 tweets per month if you use that core plan. So basically the more you wanna tweet, the more this is gonna cost you, but theoretically the faster you'll grow. This is the make.com dashboard. This graph shows you all the operations that you've performed in the month. Right now I'm at zero. We're starting from scratch. I'm gonna go over here and click scenarios and you'll see my original Twitter bot. This one had four steps. I'm gonna simplify this for you to make it only three steps. I think that fourth step is unnecessary, but let's recreate it from scratch. So in the top right corner, we're gonna click create a new scenario and it's gonna bring us to the scenario builder page. Now we have to start adding operations. So our Twitter bot is gonna have three operations. One, we want it to randomly select a topic to write about. Two, we have to generate a tweet. And then three, we have to post that tweet to Twitter. I know it's now called X, but it'll always be Twitter to me. All right, so first we need to randomly select a topic. So I'm gonna to add tools down here and we're gonna add a set variable. Now I'll drag that in here and this will be the first thing in our workflow. Let's drag the scheduler over. Because it's the first operation in the workflow, this timer will be set to how often we want the workflow to run automatically. So I'm gonna click the tools. Let's call this tool topic picker. It's gonna run once and now we need to set up the variable value. We wanna create a list of possible topics to write about. So I'm gonna click in here we're gonna to go to the star tab and let's search for add. So we see the add function appear, let's click this. And now add is in the input box with two brackets. I'm gonna delete one of the brackets, we'll add it in after. Now we gotta say that this is an array. So I'm searching for an empty array. Let's add this in. I'm gonna click and drag right here and then click semicolon. And now we can start adding our topics. So for this part of the workflow, I want you to think about your Twitter profile. What topics are you most inclined to write about? What's your profession? What are your hobbies? What are your interests? We need to come up with a list of topics that the AI will write tweets about. So I love to write. And for this example, let's start crafting a lot of tweets around writing. For this, I'm gonna to go to ChatGPT and I'm gonna write, give me a list of 20 topics that are related to writing. Let's send that in. 
and ChatGPT is going to give me a nice list that I can use for my Twitter bot. So we have creative writing, love it, technical writing, academic writing, journalism, that's cool, copywriting, editing, proofreading, screenwriting. I love all of these. So I'm going to start taking them. Let's copy creative writing. We're going to go back to make.com and add it in. Then semicolon again, go back here. Let's grab journalism, paste that in, another semicolon. I want to do copywriting, paste it in. Here, I'll go add a couple more and get back to you soon. Okay, I've added 10 topics. Now I think the more the better. The more topics you add, and in my past Twitter bot, I added like 30. The more random your tweets are gonna be, which hopefully means it seems less automated. So I have 10 topics, they're in an array, which means a list, and we can now move on to the next step. So let's hit okay. I drag this across to connect them. So our next action is ChatGPT. We want to add a GPT model to our workflow. I'm going to click this. I'm going to search OpenAI. Now this list of APIs loaded very slow for me. So if it loads slow for you too, just be patient. And we want create a completion. It's the second one here. Now you'll have to add your connection. So I'm going to go to add and we're going to grab my API key. So in platform.openai.com, I'm going to scroll over here, click API keys. I'm going to create a new secret key, call this make.com GPT4. Hit create secret key, copy this, paste it in here. And now we need our organization ID. So for that, we're going to go back to the developer platform. I'm going to go click settings and then organization. And we're going to copy this ID. So let's copy this all, go back to make.com and paste it in. Now hit save. So now it says it's my open AI connection. That's perfect. We're going to keep this on create a chat completion. Now we're going to select the model. This time I want to use GPT for turbo. And now for the messages, we're going to click add item. You don't have to add this, but I like to add a system message. And I wrote, you are a professional writer named Wes Frank, and this is your Twitter profile. Now we need to add the user input. So we'll click add item. This time the role is going to be user and now for the message content. This message content is your prompt. We've written prompts in ChatGPT. We built prompts in custom GPTs with instructions. Now it's time to create a prompt for a Twitter bot. First, I wrote craft a tweet that includes content related to this topic. And now we have to add the variable that has been randomly generated from step one. So now we need the function first. And if you hover over this function, it says it returns the first element of an array. So remember, an array is a list and we created a list in step one. But we don't want to grab the first element. We want to grab a random element. So now we have to find the shuffle function. I'm going to click in this input box and then add it. So we hover over this and it says shuffles randomly reorders elements of an array. Now we have to find that step one. Here it is, it's called topic picker. And let's close it with two brackets. One for that first function and one for the second. So now it's gonna randomly generate a prompt that looks like this. Craft a tweet that includes content related to this topic and then let's say professional writing or screenwriting. It's gonna be different each time. But our prompt is not done. I want to add some constraints. These are specific instructions to the GPT-4 model that it needs to follow in order for this to work. Just write the tweet, don't write anything else. We often see in ChatGPT that the model writes so much unnecessary text before and after the generation. We don't want that, we just want the tweet. Next, don't exceed 270 characters. Now I think Twitter's actually 280 characters, but I want some wiggle room. Number three is don't use quotation marks. I don't know why the models keep spitting out text with quotation marks. I don't like them. I like to remove them. Number four, use three relevant hashtags. This will help with exposure. Now this one's just for me. I hate the number of emojis that these models use when you say write a tweet. They think that every tweet has emojis. It doesn't. Now those are my five constraints. We're all done and we can click OK. Now there's one more step. We actually have to post that tweet to Twitter. 
So I'm going to hover over here and click add another module. Let's search for Twitter. Now we'll need this first one and we're going to go with create a tweet. Now you have to add a Twitter OAuth 2.0 connection. If you don't have one, click add and you're going to have to find your client ID and your client secret. You do that by going to the developer portal of Twitter at developer.twitter.com. And with the free access, you can post up to 1500 tweets per month. This is all before you have to start paying for their API. Their basic plan is $100 per month. And I believe this retrieve up to 10,000 tweets per month also means how many times you can post, but I'm not 100% sure. But for 99% of us, the free account will work perfectly. So in your dashboard, you're going to create a new project and then a project app and you'll click this key icon here. It's going to give you the keys and the tokens. Scroll down and this is your OAuth 2.0 client ID and you're going to have to generate a client secret. So add both of those values here and click save. But I already have a connection. Now in order to post the tweet, we're going to need some text content and we're going to have to grab what we generated in step two. So clicking in this input box, it's going to give us a bunch of options from that second module. I've expanded choices. Now we need to expand message and let's click content and it's going to add everything in there. Now click OK and we have our Twitter bot. Last step, we're going to go to this clock and we get to choose at what interval this bot's going to run. Right now it's running every 15 minutes. I think that's a bit too much. So I changed this to 180 minutes. That's every three hours, which means 24 divided by three. It's going to run eight times per day. Okay, the workflow is all done. I can go down here and click run it once and it's gonna execute the entire workflow. There it was a success. I can go to my Twitter profile, scroll down and here we go, 15 seconds ago. Diving into the past is like piecing together a grand puzzle. Every historical account entwines facts with the nuanced human experience, revealing patterns in the tapestry of time. Holy smokes. I think GPT-4 is a better writer than me. And then hashtag history matters, hashtag historical writing, hashtag storytelling through time. There we go, that's our Twitter bot. If you're having trouble connecting your Twitter account to make.com, this is likely the issue. So on this make.com help page, you have to add two URLs into the Twitter developer console, a redirect URL and a website URL. So you guys don't have to look it up yourself. I will paste these two URLs in the description below. Then in your developer dashboard, you're gonna select the settings on your project app. You're gonna scroll down, click edit to user authentication settings. Make sure the app permissions is read and write and direct message. The type of app is web app. And then in the app info, that's where you're gonna paste those two URLs. The redirect URL, and the website URL. All right, thanks for watching. I have another Twitter bot in the pipeline. This is an auto commenter to popular Twitter accounts. In a previous video, I set it up for Elon Musk. So whenever Elon Musk tweeted, I would post a comment to his tweet as fast as possible. It's a great way to get even more impressions. I'll show you guys how to set that up in a future video, but hopefully you can play around with this bot and start gaining some followers.